With back to school really just right around the corner, yeah, parents, <laughs> children of all ages need your help with those back to school materials. And Hubbard House is asking for the community to lend a nice helping hand to the children of survivors through Hubbard House. Now the deadline to uh, receive donated items is coming up August 2nd. So joining me this morning to talk more about the items they need the most, how you can help, and just this great organization, CEO of Hubbard House, Dr. Gail Patton. Good morning, thank you so much Good for morning. joining us. Good morning. So for people that don't know about the Hubbard House, really quickly explain to me what it is. Well, Hubbard House is a full service domestic violence center that provides shelter and outreach services to victims of domestic violence and their children. And we are every place you can imagine. We're in the courts, we're in schools, and of course we have that shelter for those people who are at greatest risk. And, and that need for the Hubbard House has not gone down during the pandemic. No, it hasn't. Unfortunately, uh, JSO has seen an increase in calls based on domestic violence, and then we've also seen an increase in calls as well. So on average, how many children do you have staying with you at a time? At the shelter, we have about 116 beds. In any given day, about half of those beds are filled with children. People sometimes think of the shelter as being a shelter for adults to come, but where comes adults come their children too. So we are always full with children as well as adults. And you know, a lot of these women are leaving financial security if they're leaving their women, they're just leaving that financial security. And with that comes, how do I send my kid back to school? I need supplies, I need this because life goes on and that's where you guys can step in. Exactly. When people are leaving those home, they're usually leaving with just the clothes on their backs and school is just right around the corner and we want the children who live at Hubbard House and even the children that we work with in the outreach program to be able to get a good start with the school year and have backpacks and all the school supplies that they need so that they know that they can go into this school year with everything they need to get a good start. And that's so true for the kids coming in shelter because when they left, they didn't know what tomorrow would bring. And just being able to know that the community cares about them to supply this is a huge boost to those children and to the moms as well to see that. I mean, how hard is it already for those children having to leave their homes? I mean, can you imagine just being taken from your home and for a good reason, for safety, mm -hmm. but everything you know, everything that you identify with has now been changed. You're in a new school, you have new friends, you have new teachers, and so to be able to have something that says the community cares, to be able to know that you'll have all the supplies you need for school, because all of us know if we have children, we get this long list mm -hmm. of supplies that we need to get for our kids. Same thing with the children coming to Hubbard House. And you don't want to feel, uh, have them or anyone feel unprepared going to school because school's already tough, life is already right. tough enough, you want these basics, so how can people help? Well, they can help by giving school supplies, donating backpacks to Hubbard House. If they go to hubbardhouse.org, they'll see the list of supplies that we need. It's amazing when people give us during this time that it also helps when children come in throughout the year and start school all over again. So it helps right now at the beginning of school, but it also helps every child throughout the year get a good start in their schooling. And after the past year and a half that these kids have had to deal with at school, with the pandemic and everything, it's nice to have a little bit of normalcy for them. Once again, where can people donate and uh, what's the easiest way to donate? If they go to hubbardhouse.org, they'll see how they can donate. And if they email development at hubbardhouse.org, we'll tell you how you can drop off those materials. Dr. Gilpin, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. All right, we'll be right back.